type uh, 5 and type 7 okay so we will take that in a tab tabular form that is uh, type 5 disease type 7 gsd so what are the names of type 5 and type 7 type 5 is called as mcardles disease type 7 is called as tarui's disease that is called as a tarui's disease now in the type 5 so deficient enzyme is muscle phosphorylase okay muscle phosphorylase in this case the deficient enzyme is called as muscle and rbc pfk1 that is the rate limiting enzyme of glycolysis right so muscle and rbc pfk1 see guys muscle uh, uh, the pfk1 of the muscle and rbc they share some common units right so because the muscle isoenzyme has some subunits like m subunits they are also present in the rbc so that will also be affected and because they are coded by the same gene so that is why rbc is also affected here okay so that is important muscle and rbc pfk1 so macardle's patient are mostly diagnosed during the adolescent or adult life and these are the patients which are diagnosed during early childhood we can remember like Tori's patients are mostly diagnosed as like they are toddlers okay so babies who are uh, having the muscle weakness right at the age when they started walking they were unable to maintain their uh, playful activities because of the muscle weakness so what is the symptoms that is severe exercise intolerance okay severe exercise intolerance right and in this case type 7 gsd that is same okay then after this if we continue type 5 and type 7 there is no increased in blood lactate after you can say exercise but they are unable to do exercise right so we can say after forearm ischemic exercise test forearm this is kind of a test ischemic exercise test that is FIET okay so what is a forearm ischemic exercise test you know you take the BP cuff right so after taking the blood pressure cuff uh, you know just placing it on the definitely the arm right then <clears throat> inflating it and after inflation the blood flow to the forearm will be occluded right so you ask the patient to do the exercise that is called as forearm activation right so like this open and close the fist and when you take the blood sample from the same arm right okay from the same blood vessel so you will find that lactate levels in a control will be very high because that was in the anaerobic condition uh, the exercise was done but in in case of this patient it will be negative blood lactate levels there is a flat curve there is no increase in the lactate levels okay why so this is also same here okay same here so guys why this is happening okay this can be easily explained see there is no muscle phosphorylase or glycogen phosphorylase so when when i start the glycogen metabolism so glycogen so during exercise i need glycogen glycogenolysis okay so there is no muscle phosphorylase and this is type 5 gsd so then glycogen converts to g6p first first g1p then g6p right g6p right then g6p converts to the you know to the pyruvate and then to the lactate so that is actually glycolysis okay this has to be used in glycolysis this there is absence of pfk1 so that is type 7 or the taruis disease 
so guys after the pyruvate there is a formation of lactate so there is no formation of lactate see guys in type 5 there is a block here glycogen not broken at all in the type 7 there is a block here even if the glycogen is broken there is no production of or yeah, there is no use in the glycolysis so lactate will not be produced so that is why i have written same here okay fine so this can help us in the mcq that there is no increase in blood lactate after exercise in both the cases right in this case these are toddlers in this case these are adults name of disease and name of enzymes are obviously different then what else how to differentiate them okay see the exercise intolerance uh, is actually same or we can say i will explain this also right it can be actually more severe all been asked in exams but the last one is type 6 gsd right which is a very mild disease that is called as hers disease and guys in the hers disease there is a deficient enzyme that is called as hepatic phosphorylase okay hepatic phosphorylase and guys hepatic phosphorylase uh, deficiency present as a mild hypoglycemia because the I, uh, let me tell you one thing that the enzyme deficiency in the patients right may be variable okay so most of the patients who had the hepatic phosphorylase deficiency the enzyme deficiency is mild right suppose there is still the retention of 60 to 70 percent of enzyme activity okay so that means the patient will not suffer any clinical feature which is uh, something which can be easily identifiable right but in certain cases like let's say mac adults when the enzyme activity is almost 80 percent drop only 20 percent left let's see so there will be severe excise intolerance for example but in this case the enzyme deficiency is not very severe in any case till now identified which is a rare disease so hepatic phosphorylase deficiency so that's a mild disease and that's why there is no mcq till now on this point just you remember the name and the name of enzyme right guys so these are the six uh, seven disorders that i told you which are important for the mcq purpose okay again let me summarize it very easily listen to me so look at the mcq okay so if you look at the mcq if you find that the page question says that there is muscles affected okay if muscles affected it cannot be von gerke's and hers see hepatic phosphorylase and guys just to remember h for hers h for hepatic phosphorylase and similarly m for mcardles disease and so m for mcardles and m for muscle phosphorylase activity okay so i was just summarizing so just to summarize if you find muscles affected it's not von gerke's and Hurts. If you find normal structure of glycogen, it cannot be type 3 and type 4, that is Cori's and Anderson's. If you find lysosome has glycogen, only one possibility that is Pompe's disease. Clear? If you find severe muscle or exercise intolerance, it may be Tori's and McArdle's. But if hemolysis also present, it is Tori's. Guys, hemolysis, eh? we are not talking about uh, anything else we are not talking about like myoglobinuria or something else right it is hemolysis is the word rbcs are affected and taru is also clear so that's it guys thank you so much for listening and keep revising revise this topic one of the very very important topic both glycogen metabolism and its regulation and the storage disorders the whole topic right that may be of uh, almost uh, two to three hours right completely these two topics so very important for exam purpose clear i hope this is uh, what you have what you have to do next is uh, practice the mcqs right once you practice the mcq you will feel good about the hold or command on your subject right because you if you think you know the answers you can do the mcqs you are good enough right okay guys Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.